Hello everyone, welcome back. So I just wanted to do a video to take you through what goes on behind the scenes. So a day in the life of a vlogger, if you like. Um, so when, when you see a video, there are many, many hours of, of work going in the background. Uh, you see the patent turd, if you like. But I just wanted to share with you some of the trials and tribulations you have to go through. And this is not a whine or a moan. This is for entertainment only, so enjoy. Quite often before a vlog, I can spend hours and hours trawling the internet looking for places to go. Places that I haven't been to before and places that are, that will be interesting at least. At least have something to photograph when I get there rather than them turning up and wandering around for hours. Which I actually used to do and then going, what the hell am I supposed to take photographs of now? So once I've got some ideas in my head, I then pour over maps. So I look at Google Earth, for example. Just go in and have a look, and sometimes people have already taken photographs to kind of give you an idea of what kind of photographs you'll get when you get there. And this week I decided to go to Langorse Lake, which seemed to be really, really pretty. Um, and I thought, well, to make it better, I need to get there for sunrise. So that was the plan. But what time is sunrise though? So I think I mentioned this out before, but clear outside is a brilliant that they use quite a lot. You can type in the location that you're going to, uh, or, or even click on somewhere where's near, uh, and then you can see when the sun rises, what the level of cloud is, whether there's going to be any fall, what the temperatures are going to be, all those kind of things. So that's exactly what I'm looking for here. What time does the sun rise, and is there any chance of having any colour in the sky? And then of course I've got to charge everything. I don't want flat batteries when I get there. So I've got to charge my camera, I've got to charge the drone, I've got to charge my gimbal, I've got to charge the batteries for my GoPro. And I might as well clean my bloody lens while I'm at it, don't I? So I've planned, I've prepped, I've charged, I've updated, I've cleaned, and now all I've got to do is drive for about two hours. So that's fairly straightforward, isn't it? So after all that preparation, I'm off on my way into Wales. It's the night before. The plan is to sleep in a car and then get up in the morning for a sunrise, which I believe is about 20 to 6 in the morning. So there's no way I would have made it. Well, apart from getting up at about half past two in the morning. So yeah, plan is get there, have a few beers, maybe a top whiskey. Send me off to sleep. So here's one of those other things you don't see when you're watching the, the video or the vlog. I was heading off into Wales. I decided to go up the M50 and just as you come off the M5 on the M50 there's a big fat yellow sign saying motorway closed. So I had to come all the way back and now I'm trying to find my way there via another route. So after four-ish hours of sleep, though the whiskey worked anyway, at least it sent me off to sleep. Um, I got up in the morning, I got outside, I was up before sunrise, I was ready to go. I thought, hey, let's vlog this. And then I thought, oh, no, I can't be asked. I cannot be bothered to put a camera in my face. Yes, but you hear the vlog this in. Yes, I know, but I'm really not gonna bother. But I did take some great photographs and I'm gonna show up here. So I did get the drone in the air and uh, this is a view of the Cranog hut that's been built for tourists uh, and obviously that's the lake. To get this next shot I actually had to lean over the gate you can see in the bottom right hand because it was closed due to vandalism and coronavirus. So as you can see, it's a very, very pretty sunrise that was going on. 
Uh, in the next shot, so the geese kept taking off, but because it was quite dark, it was a long shutter speed, so I wasn't catching the geese at all. So this one I did on a rapid shot, uh, and I've got the geese flying past, so hopefully that makes for a good image. I'm quite happy with this one, so looking down from the drone exactly where I wanted it, with the leading line coming in from the top right to the circular shape right in the middle. And this is where the original Cranog used to be back in prehistoric times. Uh, now an island in the middle and obviously you can see surrounded by geese. Uh, and a shot from the drone once it's up at around the 120 metres 400 foot mark. And here are a couple of test shots from walk, the walk around the lake. So that's Langasty Church. Uh, it looked pretty with that log in the front, but there wasn't any sun in it, so that's why it's in black and white. And then this is a cracking tree. I couldn't quite get a composition there, so I've just taken it for future reference. So that lake was absolutely beautiful. It's uh, I think I was there for about two, three hours, something like that. There are lots of wildlife there as well. If you want to go there and not do landscape photography, um, take a long lens and there are lots of geese and ducks and swans and all that kind of stuff. So absolutely very, very pretty. Uh, you can walk most of the way around it, not all the way. You can walk to Langasty Church, which is probably about three quarters of the way around, but then you have to walk back. So just something to be wary of. Um, by the time I'd finished, it was uh, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. So I thought I would go to Tullybont Waterfall. So waterfall, taken waterfall, Picture should be fairly straightforward, shouldn't it? So guess what? My bloody microphone broke. <laughs> what a pain. And I've just noticed as well from this video, it looks like the waterfall is coming out of my right ear. I'm very, very odd. Anyway, I'm stood there telling you that I couldn't be bothered to do a vlog in the morning uh, and how beautiful the waterfalls were, even though it was a hell of a treacherous climb up there. You can see the steps going up on the right-hand side. So you can actually stand right next to that waterfall. I don't know how far that is down there, probably 100 foot, something like that. Uh, what you can't tell is I'm clinging to a tree on the left hand side because I'm absolutely bricking myself. However, behind, if you see just over my right shoulder there, there's actually quite a nice cascade. Uh, and I'm, I, I crouched down and took that probably on about a sixth or an eighth of a second shutter speed. And uh, turned out quite a nice image, better than the ones that I took uh, leaning out with my camera in my hand over the top of the, of the waterfall. So. So by this point I'd figured out that my microphone wasn't working and probably quite luckily because there's a few choice words coming out and so I apologise for the extreme close-ups and if you hear some, <laughs> some, some swear words then I apologise. Hello, 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 hello. working. I'm having one hell of a nightmare with this microphone. It's really annoying. How's is this bloody steep hill?
Look at that for a photon drop, a photon curtain in fact, revealing all its glory. Look at the way the light just plays across that. Absolutely stunning. So that was a classic case of sitting and just waiting for the light to hit that mountain so you could have just gone wow this is a pretty shot and snapped away but I just knew the way that the sky is so it's sunny but lots of clouds that the sun would just pass over it and light it up absolutely stunning. Look at these absolutely outstanding views. It's incredible. I finally got a microphone camera combination to work by the way. And it's probably it's wobbly because I don't have a gimbal for this, so it's just handheld. So this is my main camera um, with the microphone on the top. For some reason the GoPro just was not having it. I tried a lapel mic, I tried this mic, I swapped the cables around and it just didn't work. So anyway, here we are. Stunning. Really, really hope you enjoyed that. Something a bit different from just images and me walking around. Uh, if you did, please make sure that you like, subscribe, or comment. And I'll see you next time. Bye.